Hi friends, Liam here. It's time for a new and up-to-date Minecraft Java on Steam Deck guide. First up, you should no longer be using the PolyMC launcher due to various issues that I won't go into here, but instead the Prism launcher. First of all, head to desktop mode from the power menu after pressing the Steam button. In desktop mode, head to the Discover Software Center and search for Prism Launcher and install it from there. Once you have it installed, open the Plasma menu in the bottom left corner, search for Prism, right click it and select Add to Steam. That just adds a shortcut to it in Steam for gaming mode. Now when you first open Prism Launcher, it will give you a language selector and a Java version picker. You can leave the Java stuff on the defaults unless you actually know what you're doing. The next step is to hit the Profiles button at the top right, go through the process to add your Microsoft account. Now when the pop-up comes up, the link will not open automatically in the browser. So just right click it, copy it and paste it into your browser manually and then follow the instructions. You will need to copy over a code from the Prism Launcher pop-up, log in and then just allow it to proceed, give it the permission. Now in the actual launcher, just select Add Instance. And for this guide, I'm going to use Vanilla with Forge and give it an easy to use name. Once that's added, we're going to hit the edit button, go to mods, hit download mods in the corner, select curseforge on the left and search for controllable. Select it, hit review and confirm and then let it go through the download. From there we can just jump back into gaming mode, press the steam button to go to our steam library and then find prism in the non-steam section. We should also open Steam Input and make sure it is set as a normal gamepad so that controller ball can pick it up. Once you've loaded Prism, you can then hold down the Steam button and use the right thumb pad or thumbstick to move the cursor and actually interact with the launcher. Now I'm just going to load it up and speed up the loading process so we can ignore that bit, just so that we can get to the menu and check controller ball is online. And we're going to completely ignore the broken tagline on the logo there that just keeps flicking through different things. Bit weird. So in the controls options, you can click the special gamepad icon and we can see that controllable is online. It is activated and you can see that the config for the various buttons is there. Now, after creating a new world, you can see in game the controls do work. However, you might find the helper dialogue in the Top right corner won't go away. You can set Steam input to gamepad with mouse trackpad and then use the trackpad for a sec to make it go away. And now you can just see a brief bit of me going through the menus in Minecraft with gamepad controls and it all looks pretty good. The inputs work as expected and we do have the controller icons on the screen so it's all looking pretty good. That is a basic setup for Minecraft on Steam Deck with gamepad controls. I do have two more tips here for you though. The first is that you can set Prism Launcher to load up a named instance of Minecraft directly, skipping the launcher entirely. To do this, go to the properties and at the end of the launch options, add dash L and then the instance name after a space. This will make the launcher directly load into that instance without showing at all. It's pretty useful if you're only using one instance at a time and just doing one playthrough. Another tip is that if you are going to keep the launcher to select from a few different instances each time you load, you should go into the settings and tick the boxes to make it auto close when you actually load Minecraft. That way you can have all the performance of the Steam Deck focus on the game and not have the launcher take up any resources in the background. So I hope you found that helpful. Do let me know what you think in the comments.